This is second grade into math module 17 lesson four. Um, representing regrouping with zeros. I can represent and solve three digit subtraction problems when there are zeros in the number I start with. We will begin on page 412. Please gather your workbook and a pencil. On page 412, we'll begin under build understanding. Last winter, there were 408 butterflies in a butterfly garden. Then 126 butterflies were released into the wild, so they were let go. Now, how many butterflies are in the garden? Part A asks us to represent this problem with a concrete model. Then draw a visual model to show your work. So you can use blocks to show a concrete model, and then you can follow along with me to draw the visual model. First, we had 408 butterflies, and then um, 126 butterflies were released and let go. So we're going to subtract to find the amount of butterflies that are in the garden now. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at this number 408. We are going to draw out uh, the visual model. There are four hundreds in 408. There are zero tens and eight ones. So we'll, we won't draw any tens, but we will draw the eight ones. Now we're gonna take a look at the number of butterflies that were released. It was 126. So we're gonna start with the ones column. We're gonna go ahead and subtract six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Then we're gonna look at the tens column. They need us to subtract two tens, but we don't have any tens. So we're going to need to regroup. We come over to one of the hundreds and we know this hundred is really 10 groups of 10. So we are going to regroup. We are going to take this hundred, one of the hundreds, cross it out, and that leaves us with three hundreds left. We take that hundred that we crossed out, we're going to regroup it. We're going to turn it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten tens. And so now, when we look at the amount of tens we need to take away, which is two, we have ten tens. So we're going to go ahead and cross out just two of them, one, two. And then we have eight tens left. We're not finished yet, we need to take away 100. Now we only have one, two, three hundreds and we need to take one of them away, so we'll go ahead and cross out 100. So what do we have left? We have two hundreds, eight tens, and two ones. So we have 282 butterflies still left. It, the part B asks, did you need to regroup to find the answer? And we see here, yes, we did need to regroup. So we can go ahead and circle, yes, we did. Part C asks us to show how you subtracted, record any regrouping. Okay, so again, first we start with the ones column. We had eight ones in blue and we subtracted six in red. That left us with two which we'll record here. Then we had no tens, we didn't have anything, and we needed to subtract two. So we had to regroup. We went over to the hundreds, there were four of them, and we crossed out one of the hundreds. That left 300, three hundreds left, and we took that one and we brought it over to the tens column. There weren't any tens, so we had 10 come over and we didn't have to add it to anything. So now we don't have zero or nothing, we have 10 tens. Then we took these 10 tens and we subtracted two. And here's the two that we subtracted in red. When we did that, we found the answer was eight. Eight were left. Then we went to the hundreds column and there were three hundreds. We had to take away one 
and when we crossed out one, we were left with two. So we solved this equation and found that there were 282 butterflies left in the garden. Let's take a look at the next page, page 413. Under step it out, we see the problem 500 take away 246 equals an unknown number. Our part A asks us to find the difference. So here we don't have the titles on top of the ones, tens, and hundreds, but they did draw the grid for us to help us solve this problem. So we will go ahead and start with the ones column. We have nothing and we need to take away six. Hmm, we can't do that. So we're going to have to go next door to the tens column. I look over at the tens column and oh no, I don't see any tens, there are zero tens. Okay, well then we'll need to go next door to the five. So we have five hundreds here. So I am gonna take one of those hundreds, so I'm gonna cross this out and take make this into four. I'm gonna take one of those hundreds and I'm going to move it over to the tens column. So now instead of having 100, I am going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 tens. So I now have 10. I don't have zero, I have 10. But I need to solve this part, the ones. So I'm going to take one of those tens, one of these groups of tens, and I'm going to regroup that. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cross it out, and I'm going to make it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have ten ones. So I'm going to not have ten tens anymore. How many tens do you see here? You see that there are nine. So we're going to write nine up here. Now we have ten ones, so we don't have zero anymore. We have ten. Okay, now we can take these 10 ones and we can subtract six. So let's go ahead and cross off six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what do we have left? We have four left. Great, now we're ready to look at the tens column. We have nine tens, which is right here. We need to subtract or take away four. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to, I'll cross them off. One, two, three, four. It's kind of small there. Okay, so how many do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five. So we can go ahead and record that here in the tens column. Our last part here, we have four hundreds. We're going to take away two. Four take away two is two. So our answer is 254. Let's take a look at part B. Did you regroup 100 for 10 tens? Yes, we did take 100 and we did regroup it for 10 tens. So we can circle, uh, yes, we did that. The next question asks, did you regroup 110 for 10 ones? Remember when we took this 110 and we regrouped and made 10 ones here. So yes, we can answer yes for that as well. Part C asks how many hundreds, tens, and ones are there after all regrouping? Well, when we look at the hundreds, we only regrouped 100, so there was one, two, three, four hundreds. So we can say that there were uh, four hundreds. And then when we look at the tens, we know that there were nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we had to regroup this one. So we can say that there were nine tens. And then we look at the ones column, and before we cross anything out, after we regrouped, there were 10 tens, which we wrote up here. So we can answer that there were 10 ones. Nice work. Now let's check for understanding. 
You can read and solve this problem on your own and come back and check your answer, or you can follow along with me. Miss Chatsum has 700 rocks. She displays 255 rocks. The rest of the rocks are in boxes. How many rocks are in boxes? Use a visual model to solve. We have 700 rocks and 255 are on display. So we're gonna take those away and we're trying to figure out what is left, how many of the rest are in boxes. All right, we will start in the ones column. We have zero ones and we need to take away five. So since we don't have any, we'll go next door to the tens column. We don't have any tens. So we'll need to go next door to the hundreds. And we see that we have seven hundreds. So we're gonna take one of those hundreds and we're going to um, regroup it. So we'll cross this off and seven take away one would be six. So now we still have six hundreds. We bring that hundred over and we make it into 10 tens. So we have 10 plus nothing. So we're gonna change this into 10 but we still need to have a number here for the ones column. So we're gonna take one of these tens, we're gonna cross that out. We're gonna make this into nine, take one of those tens that we just crossed off, and we're gonna bring it over to the ones. Now we have 10 ones, and we see that we have zero, so we cross that off, and now we have 10 ones. Now we can solve. 10 minus five, which is five. Then we go to the tens column, nine take away five, and that would be four. And then six take away two, and that would be four. So our answer is 445 rocks. As usual, you can always go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way anytime as needed.